In this video, I'll show you how to install Linux Ubuntu on Windows 11. We are going to use a software called VirtualBox and we are going to install Linux as a virtual machine. So you will be able to run both Linux and Windows 11 at the same time. Before we continue with the video, I want to make an announcement about KeysFun. Here you can buy everything you need from games and softwares to Windows keys. They have been on the market for many years and they have the fastest service out there. If you want to activate your Windows, you can do it now for as low as $7 because they are offering 50% off on all their products. The links will be in the video description, you can go and check them out. So let's get started. The first step that you're going to make is to open your favorite browser and you're going to search for VirtualBox Download. Click on the first uh, search result or you can find the link of this website in the video description. And here we have a VirtualBox, it's a software that we use to create uh, virtual machines and uh, we are going to download it, the latest version. And to download it, if you are on a Windows, you are going to click on Windows Host or if you are on a Linux or a Mac, you can uh, choose uh, these uh, options. You can choose these options and uh, for us, we are going to click on Windows Host and uh, it will start uh, downloading. Let's wait for it to download and we can continue with the installation. After the download is completed, click on the file, click on yes and uh, it will prepare for install. Click on next and uh, click on next again. If you want to, to see a more detailed video of how to install the virtual box, I made a video and uh, I will uh, leave the links uh, in the pop-up banner or you can find it in the video description. Click on next and click on yes click on install and uh, it will start installing so let's wait for it after the installation is completed click on finish and the uh, virtual box will uh, start so here we have virtual box and uh, here we can add new machines which we are going to do now we are going to download uh, linux linux ubuntu and uh, we are going to click on add and we are going to add a new machine so now go again on your browser open a new tab and we are going to search for linux download click on uh, download linux uh, go to linux.org you can find the link of this website in the video description so here we have different uh, versions of linux we have linux ubuntu mind or Kali. So what we need is Ubuntu and we are going to click on Ubuntu and this will take us to a new tab and uh, here we have Ubuntu for desktop click on it and here we have the latest version of Ubuntu which is 22.04 LTS which is the version of, of uh, Ubuntu for desktop PCs and laptops. So here we are going to click on uh, download. If your download doesn't start, we are going to click on download now, as you can see. So it will manually start downloading. So let's wait for Ubuntu to download. It will take like 36 minutes with my internet speed. After the Linux Ubuntu file is downloaded, you are going to open VirtualBox. And here we are going to add our uh, virtual machine and to do that you are going to click on new and then you are going to choose the name for your machine for me I'm going to name it Linux and then you are going to choose the machine folder which is by default uh, in C users VirtualBox uh, VMS and then you're going to choose the type which is Linux and the version which is Linux 2.6 64-bit then after doing this click on expert mode and here we are going to choose uh, memory size you can choose as much as you need i'm going to choose 4 gigabytes which is uh, 4000 megabytes then cl click on create a virtual hard disk now and click on create after clicking on create it will show the file location and uh, you can choose the file size i'm going to choose uh, 24 gigabytes because 8 gigabytes is not enough you can choose as many as you want uh, you have like uh, 2 terabytes here if you have enough uh, space and then we are going to choose VDI VirtualBox uh, disk image 
and click on this leave this uh, storage on physical hard disk uh, dynamically allocated and click on create then this will create our virtual machine and then we are going to settings again make make sure your virtual machine is selected and click on settings and here we are going to storage and uh, at controller IDE click on empty and then you are going to optical drive and you are going to click on this little disk right here and uh, you are going to choose create a virtual optical disk the first one and you are going to click on add and then go to your downloads and uh, make sure you select uh, Ubuntu file that you downloaded before select this one and click on choose then click on ok and our machine is ready to start so click on start again make sure the Linux uh, virtual machine is selected and click on start then by using the arrows you can uh, you can scroll down but uh, what we are going to do is leave the the selector on try or install Ubuntu then you are going to click on enter Linux uh, is downloading and uh, it will take us to the install uh, window so here we are going to select English and we are going to click on install Ubuntu so make sure you have the English selected and click on continue select uh, normal installation and uh, download updates while installing Ubuntu then click on continue it will show an option to erase disk and uh, install Ubuntu don't worry because it won't erase anything because it is inside of uh, virtual box and it's a virtual machine so it won't delete uh, any files from your PC then click on install now make sure you have selected erase disk and install Ubuntu and click on install now then click on continue make sure uh, you select your time zone and click on continue then enter your name then choose the password so again I entered my name it auto completed the computer name by Martin VirtualBox and uh, it picked a username for me so make sure you select login automatically so you won't uh, have to re-enter your password every time that you enter then click on continue it will start uh, copying files and uh, it will start installing it will take some time so make sure you have an internet connection and you wait after the installation is completed you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so what we are going to do now we are going to click on restart now if you faced any problem during the installation make sure to leave a comment and I will do my best to help you so for now we are going to click on restart now and uh, it will restart our virtual machine after the restart is completed here we are on Linux and uh, click on skip then click select uh, no don't send system info and click on next leave this uh, off and click on next so we are ready to go we can use uh, software to install apps like this so we can install Visual Studio Code, uh, Spotify, OBS Studio and uh, other apps so click on done and here we are on Linux on home so what we have to do now to make this full screen click on view at the top and select full screen mode then click on switch so now we are on full screen mode but uh, we need to change the resolution so right click on the screen and uh, go to display settings and uh, it will take you to the settings to the display settings as you can see uh, the resolution is 800 uh, by 600 and we need to change this to for me is uh, 720p you can uh, choose yours and then you can click on apply then select keep changes here we are on Linux you can open your browser you can do anything else like coding and other stuff so this was the video for today guys hope you liked it and it helped you don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so i can catch you the next video peace out <laughs>